La Asociación Centroamericana y del Caribe del Deporte Ancestral de la Pelota Maya is bringing its puck to puck competition to Belize. Preparations have been underway and will be ramped up over the next 10 months as the regional competition will be staged at the Multipurpose Sports Complex in Orange Walk Town from December 7th to the 10th of 2023. During a press conference today, Felicita Tun brought greetings from the village of Yo Creek, which she says is the cradle of the traditional Maya sport, Puck the Puck. We have revived the ancient Maya ball game, Puck the Puck, after being dormant for more than 450 years in Belize. We have played and won Puck the Puck with Asociación Centroamericana y del Caribe del Deporte Ancestral de la Pelota Maya in Mexico, Guatemala, and El Salvador. Now is the time for Belizeans to share the glory and continue our winning ways on our home soil. Several countries will be participating in the regional competition and will include two male teams each and three female teams from Mexico, Guatemala, and Belize. Each team is bringing two, two male teams. So that's a total of 14 teams that are coming to the country, including um, female teams from Mexico, Guatemala, and, and Belize. So we have three female teams that are participating for the first ever, as, it, as the president mentioned, um, we are making history. This is the first time that the Mayan ball game will be played um, in the female category in our country, Belize. No? So we are proud of that. And each um, team consists of um, six to eight members, six to eight players. And so in total, we'll be hosting a good number of persons, athletes, and all the officials coming up. Around 200, we are, we are calculating that we'll be hosting. Deputy Director of the National Sports Council, Marvin Utley, says that it is a great day for sports in Belize. He zeroed in on the economic and tourism benefits associated with Belize hosting the regional event. From the get-go, we, we got on board and we, we are trying to see how best we could not only provide fa facility space, but what we will do in regards to financial support to the Games itself. Um, you know sports have two components. It, it's not only... Um, the sporting aspect, but it's um, sports and tourism. And just from our recent uh, um, symposium, that was one of our main pillars that we said we're going to move sports forward in Belize. And so this does bring a new light to sports and tourism into the country. So from the National Sports Council's perspective, we see it fit that we will try and give all the support we possibly can to make it possible here in Belize. The male team from Belize are the defending champions, having won the competition three consecutive times. They are going for a fourth win come December. Menalio Nevelo speaks about the training routine that will continue through to the game time. It's going to be history and um, we are hoping that our teams will represent the country well. My team, Ekbalam, the, the champions, they are preparing to win the fourth World Cup. I know it's not going to be easy, right? But we are training three times a week, and we will, we will try to um, bring the colors of Belize up again. And we are very excited. Um, we are already started um, working with youths also, with kids. We are working with them uh, so that they, when the time comes, they will be ready to, to represent our culture. So I'm very excited and I'm very thankful that, that we are getting the support. There will be trophies for first, second, and third place teams. It is going to cost a minimum of about $88,000 to put off the event, and all assistance is welcomed. Dwayne Moody for News 5.